open up your Bibles to Malachi chapter 2. And I'm going to be starting in verse 5. The Bible says, The purpose of my covenant with the Levites was to bring life and peace, and that is what I gave them. This required reverence from them, and they greatly revered me and stood in awe of my name. I love that. So the, the covenant with the Levites that the Lord made, it was to bring life and peace. And the Lord gave them life and peace, but there was something that was required of them. And it was that the people of God reverenced God. They didn't have a light regard towards him, but they reverenced him and they feared him and they did not treat him lightly. It says, and they stood in awe of my name, verse 6. And how did they do that? They passed on to the people the truth of the instructions they received from me. And let me just point something out. If you haven't received commandments from God on how to live your life, you can't really pass on what you haven't received. The Bible says freely you've received, so freely give. But if you haven't received the commands of God and you're not living in obedience, then you're not going to lead anybody to Jesus. The Bible says in the Great Commission in Matthew 28, it says, go and make disciples. And he explains how to do that. He says, teach them to obey all the things that I've commanded you. There are so many commands of God that we are to obey. We're to live in a pure motive in our heart. We're to not even struggle with flesh sin. Do you understand that? Like the sinful nature was to be cut off so that the heart, we could make sure every motive of our heart is pure before the Lord. And so they passed on to the people the truth of my instructions that they received from me. They did not lie or cheat. They walked with me, living good and righteous lives. If you want to walk with God, it requires you living a good and righteous life before the Lord. And I know people might say that's works. You walk with sinners, you act like a sinner. You walk with the righteous, you act like the righteous. And if you're walking with the most holy one that that who was and is and is to come, then holiness is going to be your conduct in your life.